Okay, hello, thanks for coming. Uh, what we are going to do is, um, this is regarding the FileZilla FTP server on Windows 10. Uh, we find that after installation, uh, we encounter a problem. Uh, it says uh, you appear to be behind an ad router, uh, which is not absolutely true. Um, the problem is actually more to do with Windows Firewall than the, a NAT router. Uh, let me show you how that uh, message comes up. You can read that. Uh, it says you appear to be behind a NAT router and we cannot do anything else uh, uh, after that. So we are going to try to solve that problem um, just to make sure that we are talking the same uh, in regards of software. Uh, let me show you uh, the software that I just am um, working with. Uh, I downloaded the FileZilla FTP server uh, version 0960 and that's the one that I tried to install on a Windows 10 Pro. Um, what we are going to do now on the first part of this video is uh, uh, work with a Windows firewall to allow FTP inbound traffic. Then we are going to create a rule to allow traffic through port 2121. I know that the default for FTP is 21. Uh, we are just going to create this uh, funny number so there is no conflict with any other FTP server software that might be on Windows uh, 10. The third step, we are going to create an inbound rule to uh, allow traffic through port range 11,000 to 12,000. And lastly, we're going to configure F uh, FileZilla uh, FTP server to use those ports that we just configured. That should solve the problem, uh, but in order that to test that's uh, true, uh, on the second part of the video, we'll continue with the configuration of a user and uh, uh, creating a home folder for it, for him and then testing uh, that it all works. Okay, uh, so let's go to um, Windows Firewall. Okay, here we go to advanced settings, inbound rules, and uh, as you can see, in this particular machine I don't have any other FTP rule. Uh, some other machines might have an FTP server already, it might have its own uh, FTP rule. Uh, in any case, we are still going to try to use a uh, port 2121 to avoid any future conflicts. So we're going to create a new rule here. Then we're going to create a rule for ports. And we're going to say next. And it's going to be a TCP port. And a specific local port is going to be 2121. Say next. Allow the connection. Uh, we can just say domain private and public. Uh, domain is more for Windows 10 or, or Windows in general, but it doesn't hurt to put it there. So we say next, and now we are going to put a meaningful name here. We're going to say FTP server, and uh, let's say FileZilla main port. Let's say finish, and now we have that one that was just created. We're going to create a, an extra rules for the port range. Same, we say new rule. Uh, we're going to say port. We're going to say next. TCP, a specific local po uh, ports. In this case, it's going to be a range from 11,000 to 12,000. We say next. Allow the connection. 
uh, again domain private and public next and the meaningful name is going to be ftp server filezilla port watch finish good so we have the two new rules uh, to allow the to allow the traffic uh, so we should be finishing with this I, I'm thinking that maybe I need to restart the machine to have those rules um, enacted but uh, probably on the second part during the test we will we will do that Okay, so I think we're finished with this. So we close it. And then we're going to configure the files LFTP server to use those ports. Okay. So we go here. We go to edit settings. And in here, we are, instead of listening to the port 21, which is the default, we're going to listen to port 2121. One thing that I want to change here is, is uh, the timeout seems to be a little bit uh, too short here. Uh, for instance, sometimes after we log in, we need more time to decide what to transfer or what to uh, transfer between the FTP client and FTP server. And uh, two minutes is sometimes a bit short, so I'm going to say uh, 10 times that so it's 20 minutes um, another thing that we have to change here we go to passive mode settings uh, we're going to use the custom port range the one that we just created so we're going to say 11,000 and it goes to 12,000 and uh, for the external is uh, for the external server IP address we're going to uh, contact uh, FileZilla project. Uh, they will give us an IP address. Okay. I think all the rest, uh, we can play with all those uh, configurations later on, but these are the only ones that are critical for the solution, of, for the resolution of the problem. Okay, so we say, okay, here. And as you can see, it's already connecting uh, the problem of the appear to be behind a NAT router is gone now we have just a warning a warning is is, is, is not very important uh, we will deal with that uh, in the configuration later on but uh, the server at this point is uh, configured pro or working properly okay um, I think that as, as I was mentioning that solves actually the problem in the second part of the video, we will configure the rest of FileZilla FTP server to create a user, to create a home folder for it, and then test it all works with a FTP client.